Hi everybody, it's David Fleming here from the Toronto Realty Blog. I'm down at the corner of Lakeshore and Lower Sherborne, where there's a broken water main, and I'm watching cars slowly, or some of them very quickly, to get through nine inches of water. And I'm trying to use the word iconic to describe anything around here, because if you go to Waterfront Toronto's website, you'll notice that they use the word iconic to describe this. Oh yeah, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the site of what will one day, fingers crossed, be known as Sherborne Commons. Yes, Sherborne Commons. It took a month and a half and 500 entrants in a contest to come up with the name Sherborne Commons. This, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be one of, or part of, I should say, Toronto's massive waterfront revitalization project. Sherborne Commons is one and a half hectares, or two city blocks, if you will, Looking at the south side of Queen's Key, you can see one city block, and here we are on the north side of Queen's Key to see the second city block, where they already have those two really cool or really silly sculptures that you'll see in the rendering on their website. Now, Sherborne Commons is going to be known for the three W's, woods, water, and wide open green space. Now, I'd hate to be overly cynical, but I have absolutely no idea where you get woods in wide open green space from. I mean, I see the water. There's our broken water main. And down there's the lake. But woods and wide open green space? I mean, jeez, look at the rendering they've got on their website. I just can't see, I mean, maybe 80 years from now when you've got some time for those saplings to grow. But I, I don't really see any woods or any wide open green space. Regardless, all cynicism aside, I will say that I love this idea. They have massive plans for a play area, a skating rink, where they're going to have art sculptures, and they're going to have a water channel. If you look at the rendering again, it's absolutely amazing what they're planning on doing with this. You know what, i got to hand it to them. I know I'm very cynical, and I know I'm sarcastic, and it's a lot easier to point out the fact that really all this is is a big concrete platform with absolutely no green space whatsoever where they say there will be. <clears throat> but that aside, I love the idea. I think that there's so much underutilized land down at the base of our city, and while Chorus decides to build their headquarters here, why not put a park here? Why not put a skating rink? Why not put a half pipe for some rollerbladers? Why not put something other than what's here, which is absolutely nothing? Our city's waterfront is probably one of the worst in the world. And, I, and I'm not using that as a hyperbole, the world. I'm dead serious. I think our city's waterfront is disgusting. And forget about the fact that we have all these condos that are gonna be here forever, but all we have is this commercial industrial crap, like this building over here in the background. I mean, geez, wouldn't it be great if that was like the beaches, if that was a park or something? As close as you can get to downtown, let's do it. And we'll start here with Sherborne Commons. Sherborne Commons. The name itself comes from the idea that everyone will own it and everyone will use it. Such a nice little communist, socialist idea. Okay, fine, never mind. How do I delete that? How do I get rid of that? I guess it's probably too late. Regardless, I can make fun of it as much as I want because it's so darn easy, but I love the idea. And hopefully, I'll be alive in 45 years when it actually comes to fruition.